Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Fashion Experiment. It's Dr. Bridget, your professor of all things fashion. And I'm back with another video on 2023 trends. Today, I'm going to discuss footwear for the fall winter season. So I've been offering several videos on fashion styles for the upcoming fall winter season. And I want to talk about footwear because there's lots of new and exciting things entering for fall winter for us to wear. Uh, today's video is going to be from the perspective of what WGSN calls the buyer's brief. So from the perspective of the buyer, the forecasting company is presenting the footwear um, styles in three different categories. So the first category is the test category, and this represents the footwear trends that are new and emerging that haven't um, yet proven themselves as uh, major sellers. Uh, and then the next category is the invest category. And these are items that fall into the seasonal category. So products that are only sold during uh, specific seasons, but specific parts of the year. And then the final category is the protect category. And this category represents the products that have proven themselves to be good sellers uh, from one season to the next. And in the protect category, you're going to find products that are currently relevant in the spring summer season that will carry over into fall, winter and um, beyond. OK, so let's get started uh, with our footwear forecast. This season is full of comfortable high heels, stackable heels, and thick soles in different shapes, experimenting with different shapes. Also, you'll find neutral colors, um, minimalist styles, and embellishments on shoes. All right, so this category speaks to, excuse me, this slide speaks to the color story. So I've shared the color trends for fall, winter 23. It includes pastel colors, jewel tone colors, and neutrals and earth tone colors, all right? So here we have jewel tones, bloodstone, which is this dark red burgundy shade, and malachite, this emerald green shade. So it's highlighting the jewel tones. And these two specific colors were highlighted in the footwear and accessories category. I want to make that clear. Um, it's specific just to footwear and accessories, um, not clothing. All right. And these jewel tone colors fall into the test category. Um, I love burgundy, though. So definitely going to pick up some burgundy accessories. All right, so continuing with the accessories, bowls and tool are highlighted as design details that are being added to footwear for the, the fall winter season. And I mean, bowls and tools by themselves are an accessory, but specifically they're being highlighted as an add-on enhancement to footwear. All right, also falling into the test category, something that has not yet proven itself, um, but is being tested out on footwear. All right, next is the platform party shoe, also falling into the test category. So the infamous Mary Jane shoe um, with the you know one strap uh, associated with the 60s, I'm thinking like mod right now in my head and the Mary Jane and different um, versions of it, you know, without that stackable chunky heel, maybe a flat, you think, I think of like schoolgirl. But anyway, this fall winter, you want to see it high, 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 sky high heel platform party shoe associated with, um, you know, women's wear and nightlife. And however you want to you know, dress it up and style it based on the different themes that I've already um, shared in previous videos. Um, one that's standing out in my head right now is the preppy look, the, you know, academic look, 
this platform shoe really would complete that look. Next is the fancy full heel. And I've seen the fancy full heel uh, this season, this fall winter. Um, I'm sorry, fall winter, spring, summer. I've seen the fancy full heel this spring, summer. Um, and it is absolutely going to carry over into fall, winter. Um, this is an easy shape of a shoe and a style. While it's not necessarily classic, um, we see it over and over again interpreted, you know, by different designers. So um, it's easy to see that the fanciful heel is going to be relevant for fall, winter. And then the forecasting company in the blurb here talks about how consumers are ready to party again. And that's why they've seen an uptick in the purchase and desire from consumers for party heels, fancy heels, you know, to dress up and go out. Next is the snow boot. The snow boot is directly related to our nature theme, rerouted nature. And um, you know, I've done all the videos, several videos focusing on consumers' desire to reconnect with their world. And one of the themes was reconnecting through nature. It's going to be several uh, shoe styles, accessories related to styling the consumer for the outdoors. So, you know, whether you're, you're going to be out, you know, really in the snow doing anything it doesn't matter it's just the style you know that's how we do right we know that and the snow boot is all about just living the outdoor life engaging with your elements your environment however you choose not that you're going to be out snowboarding or skiing but you're just out enjoying the elements however you choose and you can style yourself for the outdoors based on the reverted theme and here we are the tall western the western boots i talked about this subset theme of the cowboy cowgirl western style um the western denim shirt is emerging as a trend and we see that the um, cowboy boot or western boot, tall western boot, uh, also made it um, on the list as falling into the test category. So it hasn't proven itself, but it's done enough as far as been uh, presented enough by different manufacturers and different designers as a style that they will be offering that it made it to the forecast for fall, winter 23. So look for this. And I, I shared this in, in the video when I talked about this Western style. Like it didn't necessarily fall in, into any of the major themes, but it's still here. So we have to really watch it to see how, how far it goes as far as how widely accepted and adopted it becomes by the masses and consumers. So this is one that, I'm interested to see, along with the workwear subset theme, because that was the other thing that, that was not a major theme, but it was still highlighted. So we'll see. Get you some cowboy boots. All right, next is the second skin boot and the combat boot. So this is definitely a protect product. The second skin boot, the combat boot, and lots of different varieties we know was relevant last fall winter, um, winter 21, and it was everywhere. It was the standout boot. We had the Chelsea boot and different varieties of this combat boot style, and it's back again for fall winter 23. It's forecasted, so it's proven itself. We still love it. Consumers are still seeking it out, still buying it. So, right, it's here. It's here. So if you bought them last season, you know, pull them back out, dust them all. If you didn't, go buy some because they're everywhere and relevant. Okay. Now we're getting into the Invest. So the Invest um, products are those products that are considered seasonal. So not something that a consumer would likely wear outside of fall, winter. 
So here we have the, the shirling and you see the shirling is a fur-like fabric or tufted um, fleece type of fabric. So anyway, this shirling design is being used on the clog style shoe footwear and then it's also being used in accessories we're going to see it as um, mixed media fabric used in jackets all related to the rerouted nature theme styling for the outdoor so it's like such a cozy like warmth um just inviting feeling that it gives like it's textural it feels nice it looks comfortable, it looks inviting. So while it is falling into the test category, I'm certain that consumers will really enjoy uh, this, this, this product and this material, this technique used on different products because it's really inviting. The next test product is waterproof padding. So you can think of a bubble coat, but it's, which is what you're familiar with and, you know, almost considered a classic uh, outerwear garment style. But now we're trying to elevate, you know, elevate the customer beyond a bubble coat. So we're using the weatherproof padding or the bubble padding in different products, mainly footwear and accessories. All right. And this is the test, right? Because consumers don't, are not familiar with it. Not all consumers. So, You'll see it used on handbags, see it used here on scarves and wraps and the footwear, the boot. So again, it has to be tested, but based on the data from the forecasting company, this new quilted padded look for accessories and footwear um, has increased. It's increased. So that means manufacturers and designers are using it more they're using it more. And it makes sense, like consumers have accepted bubble coats. Everyone loves a bubble coat. We have them in all varieties. Let's, you know, translate that, you know, in a different way to another product. And that's what's happening um, for fall, winter. And also wanna see lots of quilted outerwear and cool weather products. So the cozy clog, so previously, I mean, just two slides ago, I talked about, let me just go back, the ivory shirling, which is like the technique, the fabric. And then the cozy clog is the use of the shirling on the clog shoe. So the clog shoe was relevant last fall, winter in 21. Um, and again, when we talk about fashion, fashion has to be adopted. And then it moves and spreads. So last winter, the cozy clog was more or less introduced to the masses, okay? Because I purchased a pair of cozy clogs last, last year, last winter. But I did not see it available in a bunch of stores. And I did not see many people wearing it, okay? And that was in the public eye, in everyday people. And I see that... This fall winter 23, it's back again. Um, and I'm certain that it's back again because it performed well last fall winter. And it's back again because designers and manufacturers have chosen to reinvest in it because it sold enough to bring it back. So we'll see how it does in fall winter 23. But I enjoy wearing my cozy clothes. All weather slipper. So the 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 whole clog trend emerged last fall winter, and I see it back for twenty three, and I see it expanding, and that's what this all weather slipper speaks to. So we we had the clog, you know, it did not spread through the masses, but it it did enough, right? It did enough. It performed well enough in sales to be reintroduced for winter 23, and along with the reintroduction of the cozy clog, we're expanding and offering another clog style. That's what the all weather slipper is. All right, so again, 
similar to the cozy clog, there were all weather slipper options last for winter, but they just did not perform as well. You know, other products that fell into the protect category perform better. And that makes sense um, because I'm speaking from the perspective of mass production, not luxury high end. That's where most trends begin. But I'm speaking of the trickle down, the bottom of the trend where it is adopted by uh, fashion followers. So anyway, it takes longer for a trend to, tr to trickle down. So the all weather slipper is here. It's falling into the invest category because it is considered a seasonal trend item and it still hasn't fully proven itself because it hasn't trickled all the way through um, the population. All right. Last category is the sport hiker. This is a newly emerging footwear item. So understand as a trend now, okay? Because hiking boots are a necessity for people who hike. So they're always available. They're always available, people. But because outdoor living and reconnecting through nature is a specific trend, a major theme for fall winter, the sport hiker is identified as a trending item. So I hope you understand that. To be worn, not by hikers, but anyone who is embracing the idea of reconnecting through nature. So I don't necessarily have to be hiking to wear the hiking boot, we get that. And because it's a major theme, this nature theme, you're going to find a focus on outdoor weather clothing as fashion. Okay, outdoor weather accessories as fashion, like ski masks are going to be worn as fashion. I, I've seen like several different uh, designers and yeah, brands on the runway using ski masks as part of their um, aesthetic and just like I said, outdoor weather clothing as fashion and style. So it's gonna be really interesting to see like, all the detail and accessorizing that's gonna go into styling for the outdoors. I just hope it's like warm enough for all these different accessories for being outside, right? It's like, you gotta wait for the weather to wear it. Okay, next is the high gloss neutral. So this is another design detail and notice the colors, the bloodstone and this greenish like earth tone color. So the Glossy patent finish um, is a proven finish for accessories and handbags. So it's a design detail that's going to be highlighted in fall winter for 2023. Next in the protect category, our Chelsea boot. So that specific style of combat boot. Again, I've spoken about it already. I just want to highlight that it was super duper popular last fall winter and it's back again you're just going to find it um, in more variety so more colors and mixed media so the rubber and suede um, hybrid boot like the beige boot at the top here like you're just going to find more variety um, of this Chelsea combat boot and then the sustainable sneaker um, this is nothing new again just something that is highlighted as a trend, okay? Sustainability is going nowhere and we're gonna find more and more brands. New Balance, Nike, the different brands presented here using recyclable materials to make the soles of a shoe, to make the entire shoe. And that being the major selling point of the footwear. Um, it's nothing new, but it's going to continue to build momentum and become a major trend. The knitted flats uh, also falling in the, into the protect category. I mean, it was part of the forecast, guys, for fall winter. I'm like a knitted flat. It's like nothing to highlight, in my opinion, but it's like, 
your tried and true go-to flat, right? It's like, yes, I need my tried and true go-to flat when I need it. I wouldn't highlight it as a major trend, but it is here. You know, I didn't make it up. Uh, and it is falling into the protect category. It's proven itself. Everyone needs that go-to flat when you need it. All right. Don't have to say too much about it. The weatherized sneaker. The weatherized sneaker is a really cool look. Um, I just saw a very famous celebrity wearing a pair too, as a matter of fact, but now I can't think. Okay, so anyway, weatherized sneaker, very popular for Fall Winter 23. As I just said, I just saw two major celebrities wearing them. I know the major celebrity, but I'm trying to think of the brand and I can't think of the brand of the sneaker. So anyway, it was a luxury brand. Um, Converse is who I know really highlighted this in a way that, um, you know, everyday consumers really jumped onto. And then, and then, you know, subsequent to that, after that, I've seen several luxury brands introduce this chunky sole sneaker and it's really um, building momentum and it's very popular right now and will maintain its um, um, style and trend into the winter. All right, so if you like this look, it will sustain itself from now spring summer into fall winter which has already been forecasting here and carrying over to next spring all right next is the luxo loper again it is super cute falls into the protect category because this is a classic shoe style again but it it has not been trending all right but now it's trending again and this takes me back to the platform party shoe it's is a classic look that Mary Jane style. Now it has the super high heel with the chunkiness to it, but the style of shoe itself is a classic style. All right, so we see the loafer re-emerging with a chunky heel, the Luxo heel. It's consistent with our classic major theme, the preppy look and the academic look. So definitely gonna see men and women wearing the Luxol loafer this fall winter. Okay, this brings me to the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned for more videos. Like, comment, and share, and let me know what else you want me to share on. If you have any, you know, special interests, let me know. All right, bye everybody.